Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology, hospital-based medicine. If uh, you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And thank you to all of those who have subscribed. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm working on getting some more content out to uh, you know, bring you some value. I know your time is uh, valuable, so I'm hoping that uh, I can bring out some new content uh, to provide some education for you guys. So in this video, I just wanted to redo one of my earlier videos that I did about what we call the trifecta uh, risk factors for coronary artery disease. And those are hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes, also known as hypertension, I'm sorry, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know what I was doing when I first did that video, and I had put a green screen on it. And, um, you know, a lot of people have been commenting that it wasn't, didn't come out that well. So anyhow, I just wanted to redo this video. Those are very important risk factors for coronary artery disease. So when somebody comes into the hospital complaining of chest pain, for example, that's the number one reason why we get consulted is, um, you know, we're going to look at what are their risk factors? Uh, you know, what are the, what are they currently being treated for? Right? So if they come in and they're being treated for high blood pressure, they're being treated for high cholesterol, they have, you know, diabetic medications where our, um, radar, so to speak, um, is going to substantially go up high, you know, thinking that this chest pain that they're having may certainly be related to blockages in the arteries of the heart. So we're going to do a complete workup, which includes, you know, cardiac enzymes, an ECG or EKG, and then we're most likely going to get an echocardiogram. And uh, I did another video that talks a little bit about what an echocardiogram is, but basically it's an ultrasound of the heart. It lets us know if, uh, you know, the pumping function of the heart, make sure it's uh, normal. And, um, uh, the valves, how well they're opening and closing. It lets us know if you have any, what we call valvular heart disease, which can also cause chest pain. So, um, depending on those things will determine, um, again, if you have those risk factors, uh, those three things we may determine if you're going to get a stress test while you're in the hospital, if you're going to get something called a coronary cat scan or a CCTA or up to, and including a left heart catheterization, which is where we go in through the groin or the, or the wrist and check for blockages that way. That is the gold standard of how we check for blockages. I uh, think I did another video uh, talking about what a heart cath is, but um, if not, you know, I'll, I'll, if anybody's interested, I'll, I'll do uh, some more information about that. But um, that is the best way to check, but it also has the most risks. So we don't recommend everybody goes to have a heart cath. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, go ahead and do so and um, Share this with someone that you know that has those risk factors because these are very important to determine uh, what their risk is for coronary artery disease. Thanks again for watching. God bless you.